Guys, what's going on? Troy on Mountain Man Treasure here, and it's day two of an estate sale. I'm going to go in there and see what we can find. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a part-time reseller based out of Montana. That means I go to garage sales, sometimes like over here, an estate sale, and I see if there's something that I can find that I think is priced too low and then sell it for a profit online. And this particular estate dealer is the most expensive estate dealer in town. Prices tend to be pretty high. I found some great stuff there. You've got to dig. you got to find the stuff that he doesn't know about, the stuff that he missed. So it's possible. But this thing started yesterday on a Thursday. It's now Friday afternoon. I'm going to go in. Some of the stuff is discounted today. So I'm going to see if I can find something that he missed that has been discounted that also missed everybody else for a day and a half. Let's go in. Let's see what we can. State sales in Montana in the winter. <laughs> it's a little sketchy getting in. Don't sell police uniforms on eBay, folks. That'll get you in trouble. So this is Richard Petty. Still has a tag, old uh, Franklin Mint from 1992. I stay away from most NASCAR stuff, but Petty does well. And this is a nice shape. There is a discount today. I gotta see what it is. I bet this is a fifty or sixty dollar car. I might grab it. These are so tough with no certificate on these. pretty cool firefighter display I wouldn't want to ship it but it's super cool I think maybe a little bit of both is there it was a cream yeah it's cold out there yeah hello can I have somebody like a green look at this guy <laughs> This is neat right here. I don't know anything about glass though. So I will eat it. Koosh ball. Who remembers the koosh ball? <laughs> I don't know 
what this one is. These are ostrich eggs. Square. That's what they're worth. 20 bucks. I don't know what this one is. Anybody know what the black egg is? I have no idea on the value. I'm not going to pay 200 bucks for it, but that thing's pretty sick. That's, I don't know if it's even worth that much. 85 and 95 on that one. I mean, I don't know if this is for the... It must be for the set. Not for a single one. But the whole set's worth like 30 or 40 bucks. So... All right, we are back now. It's actually the next day, or actually it's two days later by the time I'm doing this one. And uh, just to recap, I didn't find a lot, right? Uh, I actually, uh, I think we got some video. Uh, I found some Jordans. And uh, pretty good deal. It was going to be like 30-some bucks or something for a pair of Jordans, 10 and a half, good size, relatively good shape. But they were fakes. They're fakes. I left them there. It's a good thing that I looked into them. Um, the easy way to look is just that tag on the inside. Uh, it's got a six-digit number and a dash and then a three-digit number. The first six digits, that is the uh, the model of the shoe. And then the three numbers after that, that's the, uh, the, the color blocking and the color code, essentially. And one of the easiest ways to tell if that's, in fact, a fake is, does the shoe that pops up actually match the code that you punched in? In this case, it didn't. Um, they were come up as 11s and those were not 11s. Those actually, I, I'm not sure what they were. They, they were fakes. So I did leave those. That would have been a good get. I grabbed one other thing, but we're going to wait to show you that. I've got another video coming up that I planned for that in uh, about a week, maybe next Monday. We'll, we'll do a video on that. But I did bring a couple things home that I will show you. This thing is pretty cool. It's just the lid. I don't know if you remember tongue splashers, if you're old enough to remember tongue splashers. They actually came in, uh, in essentially a paint can is what it was. And it was, uh, it was gum. And uh, 240 of them came in this paint can. And you pop off the top and there you go. Well, some people are selling the empty can or even a full can. But I thought, you know, this was uh, this was a buck. Actually, it was tagged a buck, and so it was 50% off. I got it for 50 cents. And I thought, you know what? It's a nice shape. You know, the, it, it's advertising, and uh, for 50 cents, I'll take a shot, right? So this is going to be, at some point, hopefully sitting on somebody's shelf that remembers back in the 90s getting these things for 50 cents. You know, I'll, I'll list it for 15 bucks, and we'll see what happens. Now, the other thing that I got that I think is pretty good is this guy. I, I, we looked at him on the table. I'm pretty sure this is the old uh, Richard Petty car, the old STP, and it's really nice. It's in very good condition. It, it, it's not perfect condition. You know, there's a there's a little bit of paint loss. I don't know if you can see. There we go. And then on the back, yeah, on the back, there's a little bit right here. Okay. But otherwise, it's in very nice shape. And this is a pretty collectible car. And so I generally tend to stay away from NASCAR stuff. But uh, there are a few names that do well, and there are a few things that do well. And this is a Franklin Mint heavy-duty die-cast Richard Petty does well, so I did pick it up. Uh, it was 18 bucks, and I got it for 25% uh, off, so whatever that is. And uh, I, I think we can get, uh, I'll put the comp up here, but I think, you know, 50, 60 bucks maybe on the top end, but 50 bucks probably for this thing. So not a huge profit, but we found some profit. We didn't stay a long time in there. Like I said, that guy's estate sales, uh, he, he generally has some cool stuff, but it just tends to be pretty high priced. And, uh, you know, so all the obvious stuff, went on day one or the first half of day two and i got you know a couple of leftovers that's fine a couple of cool things to add to the store so a little bit of a short video to this point so i thought you know what that's not enough we're going to add some what sold so let's take a look now this is not an extensive list we talked in the last video about how things had been slow for me and this weekend actually they've been relatively slow but after i did that video mid evening on Thursday. Things picked up overnight. I sold about $200 overnight. And then Friday was really, really good too. Saturday, pretty slow. And today, Sunday, 
even slower. People are probably, you know, they're watching football, they're doing whatever. There's a lot of reasons right now that things are slow. They're slow for a lot of people. But I wanted to show you some of the things that we're selling, at least on Thursday night and Friday, because there is a theme here. And if your sales are slow, maybe give you an idea of something to pick up. All right, so let's take a look at a few of the things and the theme is going to jump out to you, I think, pretty quickly here. The first thing that I grabbed, once again, not an extensive list, but quite a few of the things that sold. This is Guitar Hero 5 for the Wii. This was actually just sitting on my pile. I saw it and thought, you know what? I should list that. I don't know why I haven't. I think I was waiting for a guitar to pair with it. And I thought, you know what? No, let's just list it. Because this particular Guitar Hero sells very well by itself. And sure enough, it did. It sold in a couple days. $16.74 plus shipping. And then we sold Freedom Finders for the GameCube. $9.98 plus shipping. Nice sale overnight on Thursday. The Sony ECM-23F Condenser Microphone. I picked this up at an estate sale a while back. I picked up two of them. Actually, this guy had a whole bunch of high-end audio equipment and uh, good music uh, stuff. Like he had guitars, he had amps, stuff like that. And so people kind of flocked to that stuff, but they missed the uh, the, the condenser microphones. And it, it's Sony. You guys know Sony sells, and these sold pretty well. I picked up two of them. I sold one a while back. I listed them one at a time because they're rare. I think mine were the only ones listed. So I listed one. I waited until that sold, and now I waited a little bit and thought, yeah, it's time to put the other one up. So I could sell similar, use that old listing, and just take new photos. And this one sold within a couple weeks, pretty good. $100.16, as it turns out, plus shipping. I did actually get a handful of offers on this thing for anywhere from $25, $50, $75. But I knew what it would sell for because I'd already sold one. And so it just sold overnight, full price. It's okay to have best offers enabled guys i i take a lot of sales off of best offers it, it works really well and it doesn't mean that somebody's not going to come in and pay full price look a hundred dollar item they didn't send me an offer they just hit the buy it now button so don't worry about that is a reason not to do the send offer thing people will still pay full price that a really good sale then we sold for the nes metroid this is a nice game 34 dollars and 83 cents plus shipping 2003 Hulk Hogan, this action figure sold for $15 plus shipping. I took an offer on that. I think I had it listed at 17, 18, something like that. Took an offer of 15 plus shipping. 1988 Hardhead Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, $14.73 plus shipping. A Makita hat. This is a, a hat that sells very well. I like selling hats. They're uh, generally pretty good return on investment. I paid $2.99 at Goodwill for this. And it sold in, I think, less than a week for $18.77 plus shipping. Then we sold Murdude. Murdude from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No accessories at all, just the guy. And he sold for $19.76 plus international shipping. He is headed to the UK. Then we sold at Jim the Anvil, another wrestling figure, $14.73 plus shipping. Back to video games. This, uh, when, when I came home, actually, I was thinking, you know, th th sales are slow. I need to list something to jumpstart these sales. This is the first thing that I listed for the Wii, Guitar Hero, the Aerosmith guitar. I had a couple of games. I paired those with it, and it sold in about a day for $39.86 plus shipping. And I also listed another one. I, I don't like listing these. They sell so well, but I hate packing them up. It, it, I just... It's not hard. I just don't like doing it. And But I thought, you know what? I'm going to list them because they're going to sell. I need some money coming in. So I listed this one for the Xbox 360 as well, this guitar. And it sold pretty much at the same time, $55.96 plus shipping on that one. So a couple of nice sales there. And then another figure. So you see we're selling a lot of video games and we're selling action figures. Those, you know, those are categories that sell all the time. There's no season for it. And they, they do pretty well. Some of them are longer tail, but they tend, if you get enough of them, they tend to cycle through. So this is from Legend. This is a McFarlane figure, the Lord of Darkness from that old, the, the Tom Cruise movie. And Allie bought this, friend of mine, friend of the channel. Uh, $55 plus shipping. Allie, thank you so much. This is a really cool figure, and uh, I know you love the movie. And so this is going to be a cool addition to your collection. Back to NES stuff. Ghostbusters 2 sold for $14.73 plus shipping. Then some media, new and sealed, NCIS Los Angeles. Picked this up at Goodwill for, I think it was $2.99 on this thing. And it sold in a, a day, two days 
for $25.45 plus shipping. And then some more that I picked up from Goodwill. The Mentalist Season 5 sold for $9.98 plus shipping. And The Mentalist Season 4, completely different buyer. And they came in back to back within 20, 30 minutes of each other. I thought, oh, they found the other one. Completely different person. Mentalist Season 4. $9.98 plus shipping. We sold another video game, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Sold for $14.73 plus shipping. And then we sold another movie, Great Gardens, $9.98 plus shipping. So what did we sell over the last three and a half, four days? At least the ones that I highlighted. And th this is really quite a lot of them. With a couple of differences sprinkled in there, we sold action figures and, and you know I, I guess the legend counts as an action figure sort of it's more of a statue but you know figures we sold a lot of games and, and and game accessories with the guitars and we sold a handful of media those are three categories honestly that that sell pretty routinely like i said sometimes long tail so you have to have enough of them that they trickle in but get enough of those listed and get the right ones at ncis uh, that's one of the more popular shows out there so you find those new and sealed People will buy those, and some of them go for really good money. You find the complete series, and you're looking at like, you know, 100 bucks on some of these. So that's what I've been selling over the last couple of days, or some of the stuff I've been selling. So uh, thanks very much. I appreciate you hanging out. I uh, appreciate everybody that swung by. We had two Whatnot auctions this weekend and had a couple of viewers in there. So thank you very much for that. We've got another one going uh, later on today, Monday, the 31st. Uh, we're doing some, actually some McFarlane figures, some Spawn, some Witchblade mixed in there. I've even got a Snake Plissken from McFarlane that's pretty cool. Uh, tempted to keep him myself, but we're, we're going to put him in the auction. So that's happening at... Uh, 6 30 p.m eastern today so guys i appreciate you so much if you uh if you don't mind hit that thumb before you check out of this video it helps me a ton leave a comment down below and stay tuned lots more great stuff coming this week but for now football's on i'm gonna go watch we'll see you guys